Captain's Log, June 10, 2013. I've been looking around for more uh, missions to do with the Roman Republic, but either there's enough captains to handle everything, or we don't have a mission. <laughs> a mission officer. I have been unable to actually do anything that will promote me before the for the recognition of the Roman Republic. As it is, I have no choice but to get the to Kitomer with our brilliant space tab. I believe I shall make an impression. Apparently Lieutenant General Shilian Day Shien Day of the now Shilian Day has uh, decided that in order to celebrate this agreement I should have a battle. <laughs> I shall take the time to thank her for the effort. Now, let's talk to the. Who the hell we were talking about? <laughs> to Mary, yes, there we go. Lieutenant, we've made a breakthrough. We can't lay claim to Deva Free and make it our new home without allies. The planet is so close to cleaning on space, although they never formally claimed it. If we could get their support or that of the Federation, we would be able to break away from the Roman Star Empire without worrying about what the Tal Shar will do. The Tan has been working for weeks to get the Klingons and the Federation to agree to talks. Now, a representative from both factions will be at Kitamar to hear our proposal. And so will the Empress. I want you there as well. I think we'll need someone like you on our side. With your giant space stub of fail, it won't be easy, but this is our best chance to create a new life, a new home. We also get an allegiance box. Contains a gift to welcome you to the faction of your choice. Rare blue faction specific sniper rifle, beam array, dual cannon. Yes, yes, that, that. And costume options. Yay! Except. We have to stop the Tal Shiar. Look, we don't have to stop the Tal Shiar. We already do that. Now then, um, leave the bridge. We have arrived at Kitamar. I expect to see some sort of Talshar prison in here. And only my space tab will be able to stop it. it remains to be seen. Kitamar. This place has some bad blood. Back in 2346, the Romulan military launched a massive attack that slaughtered all the Klingon colonists here and took the planet. The Klingons took it back in the chaos after Shinzon's rebellion. This is the first time since then that they've allowed Romulans to be here. We should be careful. The Klingons aren't going to be in a great mood. Just having us here will be a reminder of what's happened. Sing for us with the rest of the Romulan diplomats in the Hall of Conquest. Do not worry, Dutan. Uh, Dutan, damn it, Toven. I have a battle. <laughs> Although I, I'm gonna not. I'm make sure not to show it around because you know how King of Zan. A battle? I challenge you to mortal combat. Hello. I'm here to mingle. Our people have been enemies, but they have also been allies. Eh. There could be much to be gained by joining forces once more. Yes, yeah. we'll give you cloaking devices again and you'll give us disruptors again. Wait, what's that? It's a guard. Well, the Klingons sure do love their murals. Hello. Okay. Doop to doop to doop to doop. <sighs> and fire and giant rooms, yes. And of course pyramid arches. Wonder what it takes to be put in the gallery of honor. You're supposed to die in uh, combat, I guess? Horrible combat. Oh Who are these guys? Oh, it's the catfolk. You dare to ask about the Klingon Empire and the Federation for recognition? Time will tell if that choice was very brave or very foolish. Never trust a Ferengi or a Romulan. Those words have always served me well. <laughs> they knew what they've, what we'd been through. 
E unul încolo sfuluș. Am nu se have proven to be honorable targs. You're not a Klingon. You're not supposed to say targs. Eh. Yes, close proximity with Klingons will... Ooh. Cool ceremonial armor there, mate. I approve of it. Can I have it? Right. Let's bring you some more diplomats. Now? Why are we even speaking to these weaklings? The weakling is right here. Just saying. Fine, fine, be like that. Who are you? Federation? Hmm. A Vulcan? I haven't seen a Vulcan since I was in Starfleet. <laughs> right, right, right. Don't mind me, I'm just carrying my pistol around. Sure, this is legal. And no danger. <laughs> Even a goddamn gun looks nice in those threads. I need it. I want it. Uh, Orion people, Federation. This is the Federation lounge, everybody. We have security guards here in case the Klingons do crazy shit. Falcon ambassador. Hello. Greetings, cousin. Do not be surprised. I see our allegiance as a welcome reunion. It is a step towards reunification. One that put both of our people. What? One that both of our people could benefit from. Reunification? I'd just be happy with peace first. My house for the Dominion. The Romulans proved to be. Proved to my father they can be powerful warriors. Why are we even speaking to those weaklings again? Ooh, Admiral Tnae. Tnae. Oh, yeah, right, right. Uh, remember that name? Probably, maybe. Master Jiro Sugihara. Uh, against the Federation, we were allied. <laughs> Never trust a Ferengi, yes, yes. Random banter, repetitive already. That's a nice cloak you have there. Can I have it? It's awfully cold on all of those fucking dirt balls they keep sending me. Hello, hello. Don't mind me running around like a madman. Oh, uh, balls. Hello. We have a bar. Oh my god, that's a massive jug. Imagine trying to chuck that. Oh, we're definitely gonna have fun with the barn here nowadays. Yes, my house, stuff. And there are like a ton more Klingons than they should be on this peace treaty. If they are not our allies, they will... They are not allies of the Federation. If they are our allies, that's fair. It's... So you can hear everything they say, you know, hear. Probably Klingon heroes who killed Romulans. Look, shut the fuck up. You don't have to be a racist about it. Yeah, they killed Kling Romulans, but they also clearly killed a lot of other things. Just relax. Ah, no mind. I have the feeling that I would have been here eventually. Looks nice, you know, all the red and the Klingon signs everywhere and the giant statues and the giant arches and the giant 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 bar yeah horrible Targs look you can't have a Targ with honor can you? and I don't think they work that way so we are Targs just sim pure and simple if you want right hello Titan it's good to see a friendly face. The air here is a bit tense right now. I need to stay here and prepare for Empress Sila's arrival, which I'm sure will not be pleasant. Could you speak with the Klingon and Federation delegations? See what they're thinking, get a feel for how the negotiations will go, and most importantly, try to convince them of our sincerity. Coven, what do you think? I think we should do whatever we can to stop the Tal Shiar. If that means making an alliance with Starfleet or the Klingons, fine with me. I would be worried about us getting dragged into their war, but I expect that they're both more interested in our cloaking designs than our people. 
I say we go with whoever is most willing and able to help us against the Tall Shi'ar. That's all that really matters. Oh yeah, now that we're actually mentioning, since the Roman Empire, Star Empire is no more, then so is that treaty that prevents Starfleet from developing clocking devices. We must be careful not to let vengeance blind us in our attempts for freedom. In the meantime, I would ask you to speak with delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. I'll do what I can. Jamal? Good to have you here, Palora. Let's hope this goes well. Yes. Quite so. Uh, yep, uh, as I said. Erp. Damn it, I should have asked about the tap 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 tap. Now that we we'll actually get voice. <laughs> I like how everybody has uniforms except us. We have pouches. <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh, fuck. I wanted to ask you about the. You know, the war between them. Will they help us and so on? Ah, whatever. Fuck. fuck it. We'll see what it go. What happens. We also have, we also have cloaking technology. I mean, more advanced. Is that you know leftover from the days? The yo. Damn it! I can't even speak properly. The glory days of the empire. Let's go with that one. This is the versus Stas. Stas. What? Who's Stas? Yeah. I understand their stance, but still. There are issues. The would-be Romulan Republic is weak and fractured. How could an alliance benefit us? Romulans. Never underestimate a Romulan. Although, unless you're talking about... Oh, hello. What do you have to offer the Empire? I'm Ambassador Stas, representative for the Klingon Empire. I'm curious, what exactly does your group have to offer the Klingons in an allegiance? The town is now warrior, and Klingon politics are in common with Romulan machination. Do you want to see our strength? <laughs> you want to see our strength, Stas? I'll accept your challenge. Yes, we Gorn can be diplomatic. No, no, you can't. <laughs> you have bravado. I'll give you that. That doesn't mean you are strong or trustworthy. Perhaps an alliance your group would bolster our strength against the Federation. If you don't, stab us in the back. We shall see. Very well. I... How much more do we have to do to prove trustworthy? Well... A lot. Let's go with a lot. No. Right. Councilor Voldon. I am scanning. There are no explosives in the room. Death to the enemies of the Empire. Yes. Diplomacy makes for thirsty work. The Federation ambassador can't hold his teeth together for more than a minute. The Vulcan just tears daggers at everyone. Half my delegation are a breath away from ripping into the Starfleeters like rampaging tars, and we're all stuck in here with you backstabbing Greenbloods. Did they offend you? Get used to it. We don't have a reason to trust you with, and I don't know if we ever will. Maybe I could help you with the first. <laughs> Mug of blood wine. <laughs> yes, I am buying your. Uh, well, I'm bribing you with <laughs> blood wine. <laughs> Hello. Uh, can we pick, pick the table that doesn't have people near it? That would challenge me for a fight. Yeah, blood wine. Just keep that thing away from me. It's blood wine. What the fuck is... <sighs> Tovan, you're such a pansy. How do you plan on impressing these guys without... You know, stomaching blood wine. <laughs> oh man, he's tall. <laughs> Kepla. Kepla! Oh, blood wine! At least you have some manners. Nice to know that you're all. You all aren't as ill bred as the stories say. Hmm. 
Watch your words, Klingon. No attacks to me like that. Fight with honor. Nah, I knew you were gonna say that. Ah, there's some strength in you. I like that. Perhaps you would be a valuable ally. But just because you know when to bring a Klingon a drink does not mean we are friends. I am keeping an eye on you and your fr kind because that's what a delicate does. Well, let's see what we can do. And uh, this doesn't seem to be going very well. I can... Uh, I might actually have to disappoint the Tan. Mingle with Federation Delegation in Chamber of Conquest. Uh, nope, that door is locked. Because, fuck me, yes. We can't have both door opens. Nope, nope, no, we can't. That will be a waste of resources or something. Mingle, mingle, mingle. Can I mingle already? Yes, can I just watch around here? Mingle, wanna mingle? Yes. Mingle! Mingle, mingle, mingle. Greetings, cousin. Do not be surprised. How did he talk to you? Mingle with delegation in. We are here, right? So Mmm, those guys maybe? No, 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 that planet is ours, you fucking stupid cat. Mm. Wait, 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 Chamber of Conquest. Uh, I don't know, maybe we should just stop them. Yes, okay. Giros will be here. I'm from Starfleet, I'm here to help. I'm for Starfleet, I'm here to help. <laughs> Jeez. One of our new potential allies. I'm Jiro Sugihara, representative of the Federation Diplomatic Corps. Let's talk, shall we? Yes, I'd love a chat. Now please, don't take the take the cool reactions of some of my colleagues as an indication of how the whole of the Federation feels. There is a history between our two governments, but I believe with some work we can all come to a peaceful agreement. Don't you agree? I was hoping we 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 Of course you do, of course. Why else would you? And add the Fine and forward thinking Romulans such as the town present here at be present present <coughs> <coughs> here at this conference. I like to think all of us Federation League on a Romulan like uh, as engineers. We are building bridges to a newer, brighter future. We're architects designing the vital load bearing structures upon which we might build vital corporate cooperative efforts. But before we get the window dressing, of course, you know where we must begin. Yes, we could start with... <laughs> Why with the foundation? You know that, of course. Why, there is nothing we cannot achieve if we are able to communicate us. Oh my god. To continue to sit down and discuss our differences, and bit by bit, measure by measure, work through them and learn from one another. We must start fresh. So there's one potential friend to another, and... I ask this entirely as a personal question. How do you feel about reunification? I know there are a lot of people in the Federation still opposed to it, but I am certain that if we simply sit down together and discuss the issue rationally, we can... Uh, silently listen to Sugiya. <laughs> Come to see that the reunification is a wonderful idea, isn't it? Bringing long lost brothers back together and mending hurts from so long ago. I'm pretty sure there's nobody left from long ago. That, you know, could consider this a unification. We're more of a... Uh, I don't know. It's more of an idea, like the unification of Romania back in the day. Really? That's what the Romans and Vulcans are, don't you think? Family divided, it's a shame. Then again, Romania did actually want to be <laughs> together most. I think of my daughter's daughter. Okay. She's a lovely girl. Takes after her mother in many respects. She's on Bajor now, but I love seeing her as much as possible. I couldn't imagine how dreadful being separated from her would be. But that's what Romulans and Vulcans must feel all the time. No, no, we don't. No, really, we don't. That's what I believe that, that reunification... <sighs> That's why I believe that reunification should happen as soon as possible. Imagine all of the wounds it would heal, the pain that would go away. Yes, imagine all the troubles trying to integrate. 
the logical and emotional Romulans with the emotion heavy uh, no the emotional Vulcans with the emotion heavy Romulans oh, glorious it will be glorious that would only be the start if Vulcans and Romulans could find peace why not peace with the clean guns the hy hydrogen what uh, fucking hydrogen it was so pathetic in voyage now they're butting in everywhere it would be a wake-up call to all races that peace, prosperity and unity are all possible. Our federation has its problems, but we've learned to live and work together. There's no reason we all can't do so. Yes, yes, I do. If you'll excuse me... Oh my god. He was definitely very enthusiastic. You don't say. Okay, please don't talk my ear off. <laughs> Admiral Trey. Tnei. How may I assist you? I know you're kind too well to ever trust what you say. I will not be taken by in by your attempts to be disarming. I will not be taken in by your attempts to be disarming. My kind? The kind that is hunted and killed by the Tal Shiar. It has yet to be determined if anyone is being hunted. If that is the case, Tarfil will take the appropriate appropriate action with the bounds of the prime within the bounds of the prime direction. I have spent more than three decades defending the Federation from Romulan plots. I have seen all of the tricks, the deception, all of the treachery that is born of hubris. Romulans believe they are superior to all other species. That is incorrect. It will take a great deal of effort to deceive me. I do not suggest that thing. This isn't a trap, Admiral, you will see. I hope it's not a trap. I guess not everyone in the Federation is old children. Yes, yes. Report to the town. We are fucked. <laughs> Well, at least Ugiara will stay with us as long as we promise to really, really, really think about reunification. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Bad news! Um, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to jump through you. Jolan True, what do you have to report? Brief to Don. There's doubt everywhere. No shit. We will have to be careful not to- This conference is a farce. Sila! You're not trying to found a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. You're stirring up dissent with your wild stories of mysterious aliens and colony attacks. Wild stories? We have well, recordings. Now I gave your little movement some leeway because I thought I could convince you to see the air. They have this cool uniform as well. This conference shows me I've been far too forgiving. You! How could you? Tobin! That's enough! You two! Please leave this to Tamer and me! Look, I could just shoot her here. You'll accuse me of treason and have me executed, but the rest of the Romulans will live happily ever after. Unbelievable. How can that woman stand there and deny everything? If you ask me, the only thing worse than the Tall Shi'ar is the politician who lies for them. There should be no allegiance with such a- <coughs> Hold on. I'm getting a message from the ship. Oh, it can't be anything important. I mean, it's like that the Tall Shi'ar is attacking. Picking up odd ships on sensors. Ships that match the one we scanned back when the colony was destroyed. Good. Now they'll have to deal with us, the Klingons, and the Federation. Ah, what were the odds? RRV Corvix, before the Klingons, they have animated yes. Why the hell would I call my ship RRV Corvix when I am uncomps? When I say Corvix, inform the Klingons. Eh. We're gonna need a new plan. I mean, you didn't hear Picard go, USS Enterprise, prepare to beam me aboard. <laughs> it's Enterprise, beam, true to beam up. Stop like that. The Klingon command base has ordered us to remain in orbit and leave the defenses of Kitomar to them. However, I am saying certain that the singularity signature I'm taking is the same ship that was in orbit of Virinat during the attack. This could be the person responsible for the destruction of the colony. Do we investigate despite the playing as objective? Beam me up, Scotty. Multiple anomalies in the area, but the Klingons are still ignoring them. We should investigate them and be prepared for whatever happens. Keep an eye out for Klingon ships. If any hostiles appear, they'll show up too. If we're lucky, they'll target the enemy and not us. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Okay, let's go. Space stop away. 
<sighs> I also replaced my beam with cannons. For reasons. Hundred and twenty one. The goddamn battle cruiser. Clean a battle cruiser turns faster than it's forty. Oh no, that's actually four. Six? Something like that. Oh come on, this is why are you so slow, man? Scan the area. Ray shield. Repair weapons. This is gonna suck. The were hiding the tall Shiar ship. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, they shot first, Klingons. Keep firing, keep firing. Go for it first, fire Tarpino. Shield batteries. Hello, Kang. I guess Kang. I don't think I've heard of you before. Why are these things so slow? My weapon is ready. Lieutenant, I am Jirod, son of Lursa, captain of the IKS Kang. You have proven yourself in battle against one of the, these ships. I will ensure that you will survive to prove yourself again. I was at the first one covered the alien undying within the Klingon Empire. Now I shall be the first to combat this new alien threat. To battle! Agreed, we will send you the data we have on the Elachi. Elachi? I think it's Elachi. Everyone said Elachi, right? It's another anomaly. Can you, like, cover me while we go and investigate? <sighs> Let's go. Nope, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Oh, God. Luckily, I have an inheritance from when I was uh, part of the Federation, so I have some money to actually upgrade my new ship. I'm not gonna upgrade this fucking space tub. Okay, lower everything. Wait until we get our weapons back. Scan area. Damn it, don't decloak while scanning. Ow, my oh God. Keep firing, oh my god. Keep firing! Focus on the Mogai. Come on, break down the rear shields. Keep with them, Coven! Fire! Did he just shoot down my torpedo? I think he did. Firing torpedoes! Keep reinforcing forward shields. Hit the torpedo. One ship down. Hey, focus on the Varo. I don't think we're gonna need a torpedo, but shoot it. Anyway. What the hell was that? There is one more. Hey Kang, gotta keep him up. Space. Who the fuck is it? I'm right on top of it. Oh, it's up there. I'm right, right under it. Okay, come on, join me, space bucket. Okay, engage the best maneuver so we can get up there fast. Because we can't go up, directly up. That's how space works, damn it. <laughs> Fuck me, space stop, go. Scan the area. It's a cloud, a giant cloud in space. Cloak. Why am I not surprised that you were the one who discovered us? I'm quite happy you did, though. Now I have a chance to rectify the mistakes of Gasco Station. Captain Gerard, you have no place in this fight between us. This is a Romulan affair. Holy shit, they have bulk technology on the Dedari decks. Touch your dogs! This is Klingon space! Colin Hakev, you came to the sovereign Klingon territory with hostile intent. You brought these aliens into our space, now you have to 
the animated get a goal to try and give all those who are Klingon warrior. This is not a Roman affair anymore, Colonel. You have insulted me and you will pay for the price. Never insult a Klingon, I care. I don't care if you have a hundred Klingon ships. You will not stop me. Yeah, overconfidence is really not nice. Target of the will let the Kang focus on the dirty decks for now. Get a high yield off. Ooh. Need to get closer to the Varo. Keep firing torpedoes. And Kang. The Kang seems to be holding up. Come! Damn it! Fucking tubs are. It's one tub down. Target the water with the f EMP burst thingy. Plasma shot me, yes, that's what it is. Get the torpedo, get the torpedo. Yeah, don't let it hit the Kang. Whoa, Kang is really taking a beating. Imagine if it was focusing on us, that would kind of suck, wasn't it? Let's out of here. Right on sale, hit, Captain. Don't care. Come about. Keep firing. Bring down the sh rear shield so we can launch our high little torpedo. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no! No! Fucking hell! Rio shoes down! Fire torpedo! Yeah. Woo! But I'm glad he didn't drag me with the tractor beam into warp. <laughs> For the Empire. You fought well, Lieutenant. My people will learn of Colonel Hakev's attack on my vessel, that I can promise you. I will also tell them of your abilities in battle. However, Hakev did not die, so I cannot rule out the possibility, possibility that this was all a Romulan trick. My ship will continue to patrol the area. You should return to the conference. Thank you, Captain. That was fun. He beamed something down to the surface before he warped. I think... Yes, we're getting confirmation. He beamed explosives down to Kittimer. We've got to get down there and disarm them before anyone finds out. Even a hint of a problem like this, and the conference will be shut down. We'll lose our best chance for colonization. Ah, of course. Beam us down, number one. I'm not afraid of the Tal Shiar. What is your status? I'm in the Hall of Heroes now and things are underway. Do you handle the situation with the Lucky? Yes, but Hakev beamed down explosives in the hole. Also, I can't really tell, make my voices apart in a nice manner. This is not good, it'll be too easy for uh, any disturbance to be blamed on us. And Hakev knows it. I'll start searching the Hall of Heroes, contact me once you've found all the explosives on your end. I'll do my best to discreetly look for anything amiss over here. Shouldn't the Klingon have, you know, uh, transporter jammers in place? Make sure the Klingons do not find the mouse first. If they do, there's a good chance we'll be seeing one another soon in a jail cell. I'll handle it. Oh my god, let's go, 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 go. Nothing to see here, folks. Nope, nope, nope. That's not the giant bomb. Nope. That looks like a fuel can with red. Nope, 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 nope. Don't, do not be alarmed. I'm running just, you know, to be healthy. Damn it, wrong door. Fuck. Yes. Yes, I'm uh, jogging. It's uh, a Romulan pa Republic pastime. Yep, yep, yeah. Um, no, the Talshan do not do it. It's something only we do. Yes. Nope. Oh god. Yeah. Good. You won't stop. What? Talshan agent. The Talshan had spies here the entire time. Luckily, we have force fields that block a lot of incoming shots. Move, 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 move. Oh uh, and they have spies everywhere. Spies! Look, there is a Tal Shiar here with pistol. Never mind, I'm not supposed to talk to you guys. Nope! Oh, those are mine. Those are mine? No, those are Orion, actually. Never mind. You there! Pew, pew, pew! These are the bomb. Come on, nope, nope. Nothing to be seen here. No, that's a clock. Yes, I'm uh, fixing the clocks. Nope. Damn it! What is it with you people in locking both one of both doors? What the fuck? Nope, no, 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 there is no one. No dangerous man. Uh. Enemy target on. Pew, pew, 
pew 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 uh nope yep yeah, nope uh, the, that was the uh ice machine yes i fixed the ice machine everybody don't be alarmed no help me you get the explosives good that's a relief i found a bomb near one of the statues in the back of the hole should be able to confirm that these devices were made by the tall shard once the conference is over will be more proof that they cannot be trusted why don't you come inside the conference the klingons are about to speak it should be interesting to hear what they have to say we're on our way <sighs> okay, go over and put the gun down. Put the gun down. Good. Go over the gun, if you please. Oh, this is definitely not gonna end well. In conclusion, think about how many times we have been fooled by Romulans. Sila already sent the Tal Shiar to attack us here. Who is to say Datan is not part of her plan? We must not allow this alliance to happen. Hakeev. Treacherous Greenblood, what do you think Stay you're doing? Back. What? What are you? Remember this. He gave his life for me, for a Klingon. Come here! Ah, thank God! Now I don't have to do his voice again, ever again. Uh. Talk to the town. Tamer's death will not be in vain. Now we have the opportunity to secure our future. The Federation looks favorably upon our endeavors, but it will take time for them to commit. Now Tamer has shown the Klingons that there is honor and nobility among us. We may not have gotten what we wanted today, but I foresee a day where we will build a home and a life on new Romulus. Oh, look at you, sounding like a politician already. The next step must be yours. Both Starfleet and the Klingon Defense Force have agreed to take Romulans into their forces. I'd like you to be the first. You will be our eyes, ears, and hands in their fleets. More importantly, you will be our voice. Where you serve is your choice. But wherever you go, always remember that you are Romulan. What? I am disappointed. Uh. If you haven't done so already, speak with the representatives of the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Then, take some time to think it over. When you are ready, speak with Subcommander Nadell back on the flotilla. Thank well, so much for that. Hello. I already know who I'm going to sign up with, but let's do it anyway. Starfleet will do what it can to assist. Well, the sacrifice will be remembered, I promise you that. Oh, damn it! what voice did you have? Let's say again. We're on a mission of peaceful exploration. Your voice changed. How the hell am I supposed to make a consistent voice for you when your voice is? Personally, I have never liked the Tal Shiar, but we of the Diplomatic Corps are always committed to trying to find peaceful solutions first. Or we can help you in your fight to bring justice to the Tal Shiar, if you'll accept our assistance. We know you have much to do to build a new homeworld and free your people. The Federation wants to be your ally in everything. I appreciate your work. Right, 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 right. He gave his life for me, for a Klingon. Come here, die with honor. When my time comes, I hope I can do the same. Sacrifice show me that we have a common enemy. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for your people with the courage of a Klingon. I would be proud to give my aid to you in the town. We will hunt the tall shadow with dogs there. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Tamer gave his life so that we would be understood by the others. I know I won't forget this. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to take down the Tal Shiar, so I'm with you on this, no matter what. The ship is awaiting our return whenever you're ready. We need to report to Subcommander Nadell and let her know everything that's happened. Okay, let's go. Now, are we gonna have to join the, the, the Klingons of the Federation? Which actually kind of explains why I saw Klingon as a uh, Romulan ships in the Klingon Empire. 
Hmm. So that's what it was. Oh, pretty much. I think I'll join the Klingon. So uh, we'll get the other side of the quest lines. If that's the case. While still doing romance, since already, I'm already doing the Federation quest line. I think that sounds cool. Besides, the Klingon have. Uh, eh. Eh, I don't know. Don't really know. But yeah, yeah, definitely join the Klingon. I like the Klingons more than the Federation. Even if the Klingons are a bit too dramatic for my taste. <laughs> Again, they're not pussying around like the Federation. Uh, sad, however, that we won't get to play with the flotilla anymore. You know, as an independent third party. That would have been cool, but nope. Then again, an independent third party would mean we would have to be at war with them to enable PvP. Hmm, yes. Welcome back. I'm Sub Commander Nadell. Tamara's final actions impress both the Klingons and the Federation. The time has come for you to decide which of them will be your ally. Starfleet and the Klingons both have sent diplomats to stay here at the flotilla. Talk to them if you have any questions. Then speak to me when you're ready to make your choice. <sighs> in, the in the interest of fairness, we'll talk to both of them. And to matter sacrifice, show bravery and honor. We honor this, his act and we will not forget it. The Prime Directive may tie our hands sometimes, but we recognize when reaching out with help will help the galaxy. We are ready to re reorganize the Roman Republic as a legitimate government free of the Roman Star Empire. We can help your people if you'll accept us as your allies. We'll gladly aid you in your fight against the tyranny of the Tarshar. We know you have much to do to build a new home world, a new Rom Romulus. Tell us what you need. We're ready to help you with the construction and the re relocation of any willing Romulans to their new home. Thank you. <coughs> Talk to Brigadier General Gdan. <coughs> Temer sacrifice showed the High Council that we have a common enemy and that there is such a thing as a uh, honorable uh, Romulan. You are not his memory. Join us. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for your people with the courage of Klingon. Somebody already said that. The Klingon Defense Force will be proud to give our aid to the Romulan Republic. Together we will hunt the tall shell like the Honorable's dog there. Here's the problem. If what I'm understanding will happen now, meaning... Wait a minute. So, does this mean that I'm actually choosing the side, basically? If I... Lore-wise, I mean, if I choose the side, if I choose the Klingons, will I be... Will the entire Romulan Republic be part of the Klingon fleet? Or it just means that the Kling, the Romulans are actually helping both sides in order to help the, themselves. The Romulan Republic, I mean. Even though that would mean that Romulans would be fighting each other on both sides of the war. Is that it? What's that? Oh, never mind. You did not see that. <laughs> uh, let's talk. Weird. We weird. Did you need something? Tell me about yourself. My name is Nudal. I'm a former refugee, and like you, I'm trying to help the town build a new Romulus. I barely remember the homeworld, but I remember the hunger and fear of the years that followed its loss. I watched my father disappear into a bundle of ale. I remember my mother crying night after night when she thought, thought I couldn't hear her. We need a new homeworld. We need stability, and we need to put the past behind us. I'll do anything I can to help them. Yeah. Ready to make my decision? This final choices must be yours. But then I will honor the man and serve our people. In well, no matter where you decide again. So what is it to be then? The Klingons or the Federation? The choice of allegiance cannot be changed. You will still be a Romanian afterwards, but your allegiance will either be Starfleet or Klingon. Choose allegiance. <laughs> do, do, do. I like the art though. Starfleet explores the star and defends the United Federation of Plans from threats. Starfleet officers are dedicated to advancing the Federation's knowledge of the galaxy, exploring strange new worlds, seeking out new life and new civilization, and boldly going where no man has gone before. The Klingon Defense Force represents the military might of the Klingon Empire. KDF officers serve by conquering new worlds, battling the Empire's enemies and undertaking scientific and exploratory missions that will expand the Empire's reach. In return, they will gain glory and honor that a true, the glory and honor that a true warrior deserves. 
choosing an ally would, will grant you access to their restricted location, such as Earth, Space Dark, or Konos. You will be able to team with other captains who share your allegiance and be given access to their starships. Choosing an ally is a permanent choice. You will not be able to choose a different ally even if you replay the mission later. This mission later. There's one tiny little problem. I already have a, uh, an engineering Romulan uh, Klingon. But then again, we'll be flying the Deridex. The Deridex. Choose Klingons. Uh, picking up the Klingon Empire as your ally will grant you access to the Empire locations such as Konos and Klingon Academy. You will be able to team up with KDF captains and fly KDF starship if you so choose. While you are still a member of the Roman Republic, you also have all the rights of a Klingon warrior. Once you make this decision, there is no going back. If you choose to ally with the Klingon Empire, start with consider your enemy. Do you still wish to become an ally of the Empire? <coughs> Okay, seriously, this is a weird ass choice. Weird ass choice. Fuck it. <laughs> then again, the Klingon ship looked better than the Starfleet. So there's that. I already have a Klingon. Uh, not, not that it matters since you know, might have access to a shared bank account. Uh, the thing is, I'm thinking about, you know, uh, the lore of the fucking thing. I mean, obviously, all allying with the Federation would be the correct way of uh, the lore specific. Uh, damn it, what the fuck am I saying? Allying with the Federation would be the canon version, that's what I'm trying to say. I assume if they will not ignore this completely whenever they decide to continue the series. Which, don't be mistaken, they will try to continue the series. But, uh, logically, if we're gonna talk like a Vulcan, uh, the Federation is less likely to invade new Romulus if, you're, if we ally with the Klingons. While the Klingons would definitely try and invade new Romulus. That's a way to teach us a lesson and then knock us out of the battle. And besides, he looks cool. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, choose Klingons. Let's go. Yay! Tamer was a great man. He does so many lives among the survivors. And I know he fought very highly of you. Even though he sent you to certain doom in the space tub. I can think of no better way to honor his commitment than sacrifice than by continuing to serve the Romulan people. And to business. The Vatilla will be working on beginning settlement of Deva Free, or what we're calling the new Romulus. Good luck out there, Lieutenant. And thank you for, you know, having you decide the entire fate of the new Romulan Republic. We have to Congratulations, Centurion. Honor and glory to you, Captain. My name is Therese. I have heard the tales of your deeds in battle, and I seek to join the crew of the mighty RRV Corvix. May you never know defeat. If you wish me to join your Russo Bridge of Sir, I'm ready to fight by your side. If you do not want to accept my offer at this time, I will wait for your decision. Join. Damn it! Give me a break here. Queries. Meh. Fucking guns. Don't care about guns. Greetings, Palora. I'm taking over as your liaison with the Romulan Republic since the mayor is. No longer with us. You have proven yourself and other respects of your fellow Romans. A contact from one new would like to speak with you. Return to the flotilla. Hey, accept. Did you need something? No, what I needed was that. What's that? Shields. Compression pistol. Or disruptor sniper rifle. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> It's kind of crap here. Fine, we'll take the pistol. Be like that. And for now, that's it. We'll see. Speak with ship vendor on the flotilla. Yay! Ships, everybody! Um, use the lift. Okay. Did I have to talk to the Klingon on my way out? No? Okay. <sighs> Now, there is a way to get a free ship. There's a specific quest, which all sides have it. It's a universal quest. 
I already did it with my uh, Klingon Admiral, well, not Admiral, uh, Lieutenant General. Unfortunately, the ship is a tier, I don't know, 6. It's not the most advanced, it kind of was useless for me. Congratulations on making Centurion. Subcommander Nadella has given her blessing for you to choose a ship appropriate to your new stature. Take a look at my selection, the starship that are approved for your rank list is below. You'll also receive the following free custom change. Yay. Get a new starship, bro selections. Let's see. Tivaro, the land warbird. Eh, base turn 16, that's cool. Or, Braille Bird of Play. Twenty three. I don't count. Why? Quadloom, Bird of Fray, Samoro Centurion Tang Battle Cruiser Tanko? So, when you said you could buy the ship, you meant if you have that item. Okay. Well, not much of a choice then, do we? Yes, I like that I have a choice here. I can choose to either get a new ship or not. <laughs> Fine, give me the, the land warbird. Designed in the 21st century, yes. Well, let's see, do I actually have a choice? Nope. Mm, nope. Nope, 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 nope. So the choice is not there. Well, it goes back to what I said. Memeneda. Mm, nope. Vasam, no. Tlava, Dava, Dvarin? Oh, that would Dvarin. Okay, Dvarin sounds cool. Big two that guy. It's a nice rifle you have there. Select your ship. Greetings Centurion, I can help you select your active starship and also show you the list of starship you can change active starship. Good Would you wait a fucking minute so I can deal with this shit? Christ <sighs> Goodbye Space Tab. Hello Hopefully not Space Tab. Ready starship. Okay, now you you can talk to me. I'm cool. From the ashes, neutral no more. Hail! Once you have a new ship, proceed to the beta Toridan system. Okay. We're counting on you. What? Did I accept it by mistake? Well, head to the beta Toridan. Oh, okay. Should have read that. Sorry. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. Centurion, I'm glad that you're select, settled into your new ship. I didn't even get to try the ch com com captain's chairs. <laughs> As we can't waste any time, we see wars that the miners on, on Beta Toridan have spotted no scam pirates near their system. The pirates have been bothered to, haven't bothered to attack the mining station, but it's only a matter of time. And they're likely to get go after their f freighter traffic in the area. Beta Toridan. Toridar is an unremarkable system, but there is a small republic calling there that the mines heavy metal is necessary for ship construction. I need you to take your new ship, the Beta Toridor system, and patrol the area. Just let everyone know that the republic is watching. I understood. Unfortunately, we are running out of time. Time is of the essence. Let's see. Uh, flow capacitor. Driver coil. Wow. You know what? Fuck driver call. Attack patterns then. <sighs> A new ship. Toven! Congratulations! Very ill. Setra. Even. Satra. Let's see. Toven! Congratulations, I guess. Yay! Let's see. You can. Toven? Beam fire at will? No. No, 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 no. 
Where can we train in this place? Now, speaking of, I want a Canterian. Are you customize the ship? There we go. Customize the starship. Well, yeah, I wish I had the money for it. No, not really. Looks weird, as I said. Ren, Ramon Warbird, let's see the colors. That's a cool looking black, red thingy. Did it even change the color? Because I can't tell. <laughs> and green, blue, green. Well, uh, Romulans, white. Ooh, can't. Damn it. Type 2. I'm going to type 1, I'm going to type 2, brown. Mm, this one. Tip to the. That one? Yes, that one. Okay, then we'll replace this with something else. Too much red anyway. Uh, purple. I'm pretty sure I can change that anyway. Yes, 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 I can. Damn you, bird. Oh, also windows. I actually like these ones, but let's see. Take a look. Type 1. Eh, not bad. Type 2. Eh. 4 and 4. I like the flip because it, you know, has a better size proportion. Since this ship is not very big. Yes, I like that. Now, uh, I actually like the color as well. Columba. Damn it. Uh, let's start with something else. Wings, the name type 1. Ooh. Oh my god, customization, everybody. Holy shit. Type 3. Maybe. Maybe. No, nope. I like this. Then we have some customization. Type 1 has that ridge over there, looks like that. Mm, no, nah, I don't like Type 1. Type 3, much better, I think. Don't you agree? Good. Now, uh, hull, nacelles. Columbiana. Okay, we're gonna need something else than green. Blue, white. White? No. Black. Hmm, how about make this red and change this to green? Or, you know, something else. Uh, uh, could use a different green. Mm, or, you know, just keep it all red. That's something. I don't know, I'll, uh, I'll decide and show you what I come up with. Okay, apparently Arias Arias Aquila looks fine to me. Up your proof. Then again, most of it is the ship looking cool. I approve of it. What are those? Oh, whoa. Don't know what those are. Ah, if we change the material. Meh, meh. Point to two. Yes, type one it is then. Okay. Congratulations! Let's see what else. Mm. Chief Engineer. I'm pretty sure I got the log box. Fuck that. A uniform. I believe I have a uniform. Stuff, stuff, stuff. There we go, Lieutenant Delatin. Let's go! This way we can actually see the fleet, everybody. What's those weapons? Lieutenant! Because I'm gonna slow him. <coughs> Exchanges. Modify. Pretty sure I got one else. Ramilon Klingon Legions. Mm, not bad. Huh. 
I mean, yes. Let's compare. Like this, like this. Well, okay, let's change the color then. Mm, what an engineer will keep that. Upper. Romulan, civilian, long sleeve. Yeah, no shit, everybody. Medium slave. Well, not really. Sleeveless. I'm gonna clean gun, one, two, three. That's two clean guns, that's cool. Alright, Roman Klingon one. <coughs> Roman Klingon, ooh. Gloves paneled. Maybe. Right. Uh, uniform armored. Ooh. Uh, chest gear. Ah, that's not really armored, is it? <laughs> eh. Jacket tight. Anything new here? Cling on. One and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. Jacket tight. Jacket loose. Cling on. One and two. On the same thing. Color. Survival Romulan. Lieutenant Commander. Ooh, shoulder pads. <laughs> Uh, what exactly? Shoulder pads again. Changes. Vest. What do we have at vest? That shit. Well, we get Robin and King around the gloves. Mm hmm. Nope. Okay. Robin. No. 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 <coughs> what the fuck is that? Romulan Klingon 2, character master basic 1 or 2. What? M hands. I think I bugged the game somehow. <laughs> I have this uh, nagging suspicion that I bugged the game. Maybe. Uh, let's go with white now. And. Make this one red. Now keep this one black. We'll make this one red. Red. Cool. And this one white again. No. Yes? No? What, what? How in. Oh, so the color is greenish by itself. Does it look cool with red? Does it look cool with green? Purple? Black. White. Looks cool with white, I see. Oh, here we go again. This fucking material. See the dots here, the squares? I hate those. Let's make him black then. So we don't have to worry about that. Then we'll make this one white as well. How about if we make this one red? And then make this one white. Hmm. What if we make it black? Now that's the line. Uh, nope. I like different colors. Can we see the squares with the red? We can see them even the black if we're looking carefully. Damn it. I not approve of that. Okay, good for now. Mm. Yes, good. Uh, what if we actually make this red? Maybe something, and then make this one black. Uh, okay, make this one white. Ah, good enough. Right, uh, sash. Romulan can't use this one. Hands. Gloves panel, I think I'll go with gloves panel. Usual for me. Oh, damn it, no black. No good black. Fine, no gloves panel for me. Romulan Klingon. Oh, no, that's my skin. Don't mess with my skin, please. 
Uh, what exactly is this? I don't know what it is. Fuck it. Shoulder pads, Lieutenant Commander. Because they look cool. Uh, what exactly are we changing around here? Okay. Mm -hmm. And this does what? I see. And this does what? I don't see. Just hide the face. This does what? I don't know. What does this do? Why is it doing what it is doing? Hmm. Maybe a different color. Like white again. No, too much white. Black. Da da da. Um, well, yellow, yellow, we're an engineer, but fuck, no, we're not Starfleet, don't need to color code ourselves for their convenience, make a different red, can I change the different red, is this one better, no, uh, <coughs> black is not cool, Draw the proof of black. Okay, the red it is. What else? Color none. Mm. None. Chess gear. Romulan Republic. <laughs> Romulan suspenders. <laughs> uh, none for now. We'll see. Romulan Klingon. One or two. One or two. Or none. Gramlin Republic one. Why are the pants uh, getting affected by this? Change the gear into black. Mm. This is weird. The point that why not actually want to know this. Nope, fuck em. None on my hands. Uh, wrist attachment. Yes, we're done with that. Undershirt. Oh, that one. So that's where the color comes from. Okay. So if I made this red or white. Or you know, yellow. Yellow. Or this red? This red. Mm, okay. Uh, I like the green, I have to say. Unless I make it more green. Uh, I like this. Kind of green, yellowish. Cool for now. Uh, or one. Now, choose sure better. Prove it. White. Oh, that's a belt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. White. We don't have any white in the belt, do we? Uh, can we get red? Looks crap, doesn't it? I make it white though. Looks crap again. Uh, let's deal with the pants though. Ramen on Klingons 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Yes, I see you have a red. I don't just, just don't see what it is. Lose knee high tight. Same shit. Could get this one. Meh. Nope. Uh, okay. Feet. 
Ramon on Klingon 1 and 2. No, no, no. Klingon 1 and 2. Eh. This is what it is. You get to be white for reasons I don't know why. You get to be black. You get to be red. And you to be also black. Doop, 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 doop. Unless I make this one red as well. Because it looks weird. Probably because of the resolution mostly. But Doesn't it look weird to you? Looks weird to me the white line. Maybe if I make it green. Mm. Or maybe if I make this white. Hmm. What if I make this one white? And change this one to black. Or red. Or red. Eh. Yep. Okay, you remain white for now. You go back to being black. You go back to being red. And you go back to being black or red. Black, red. Black, red. Black, red. Red it is. Um, or white. <laughs> Don't know, everybody. Let's make it all black. All of it. Though you can see it's not supposed to be. Ah, black it is. So you'll, the shoe sides become. Okay. Mm. Am I happy with this? Probably not. Belt. Klingon 1, Klingon 2, Armino Republic. The Klingon belt is higher. Mercenary. No. Klingon 01. I like this, I like this a lot. No, there's some clipping there. For some reason, let's look around. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, this one's better. Hmm. Okay, so this is my new uniform. Not happy with the boots. But they will have to call tune them later. They have to. <laughs> I like the uniform, I like it. Save outfit. Where's my outfit? How do I... Ah, fuck me. I think the server lags lately. Weird. Oh, also... Oh... Increase defense. Grace under fire. I don't have medical worker yet, do I? If you take more than 20% of your hit points in damage within a 5 second period, they cool down. Uh, Lucy defense it is. Uh, how do I change my uniform? Because I forgot. Mm. I don't know. That's not it. Title. Centurion. Does anyone remember how I can change my uniform? Because I don't remember. Uh, character status. Nope. Inventory. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. Did I made my save? There we go. Where it? Okay. I'll conclude this here. We'll come back later. We actually have uniforms, everybody. <laughs> Might get around to making my bridge crew do it as well. So, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Oh, actually, I'm in the mood, so after I re upload. I encode, convert everything, I'll continue this quest line. So, uh, come back later. See ya.